I also wanted to talk about uh, the new documentary we're we're making, Pastor. So obviously we yeah. we're not going to say the name or what it's about. We don't really have a name for it right now. We're still trying to come up with it. I have a I have a working title, but we need to come up with a good name. I think that'll come yeah when we're doing it. But this film is turning out awesome, and uh, mm-hmm. I I'm just so happy with just how everything's turning out. But the film is kind of kind of have to go on a little hiatus because we have to. We have a lot of the United States, but we really need the traveling part. And I don't want to go into mm-hmm. quarantine for two weeks. Uh, so I'm just going to be focusing on the show for the next month, two months, uh, while hopefully things open up. But uh, what are your thoughts on the new movie, Pastor, without giving anything away? Are, are you excited about it? What? What's your thoughts on all the footage you've been seeing and stuff like that? Yeah, no, I'm super excited because, well, one, uh, the subject is something that I think pretty much everybody is going to be interested in. I mean, literally anybody, not just Baptists, you know, but just Christians in general are all interested in a lot of the subject matter. And then, two, you know, based on what I've seen from some of your other films, And based on, you know, a lot of this new equipment and everything you have, um, I think this video is or this movie is going to be great just because of the visuals. I think this is going to be a very visually pleasing movie to watch. And I'm saying that before you've even filmed it. But I just I know based on you know where we're going, what it's going to be about, that people are really going to enjoy just watching this film. And um, but yeah, and if said i'm excited too because um there's just a ton of potential if we can get some of these ride interviews that we're wanting to do if we can get in some of these places that we're talking about getting into i'm telling you it's gonna it's gonna just be fantastic subject matter that people are just gonna eat up and so i think it's gonna be just you know I, I think yeah. it's going to be huge. Well, I think everything's just kind of fallen into place perfectly. Like everything's just been working mm-hmm. out. The money's come in that we need and like when we need it, like right when we need it, it just seems to come in. We can do these trips. We were able to fly to, I forget how many different States now. And we've interviewed, man, I just stopped. I, it's funny how, if you don't think about it for a week, you just forget everything. But we've interviewed like 18 or 19 people. Ah, what is that number? Do you remember, Pastor? But no, it, it's, I don't. It's I don't, a, I don't know about. Yeah, it's a it's a lot of people we've interviewed so far, and they've all been pretty decent interviews. There's been a couple duds, but uh, they've all looked good. They sound good, and that's that's what I'm doing on this film. I want it to sound good, so I I'm focus I'm. I focus more on sound in this film than I have on any other film. Uh, most films, mm-hmm. I always say I'm going to focus on sound, and then I always rush, and I don't focus on sound. So it's kind of been my motto on this film, is I would rather have less material and take my time setting up. Um, so I'm not just I'm just not letting anybody rush me setting up. I'm I'm taking my time setting up, even if it means that I get, like, way shorter interview because a lot of these people only have an hour of time and then I you know I take well what I've been telling everyone is I need an hour to set up and then an hour for the interview and then sometimes um they they're like they don't they don't have that much time so uh but we we've been making it happen and uh hopefully everything falls into place for these traveling um dates that we have coming up but i i don't really know what the future holds on that right well one of the reasons i'm really excited about this and it is because if you know we're able to get the interviews that i'm wanting to give and i i it, i think we're going to be able to um and because of what the subject matter is going to be i think this documentary is going to be something that um interests a ton of people and it's going to be, and it's one too that's going to hold the interest of people based on where we're going. And then, 
you know, because of where we're, you know, where I'm thinking this is going to go based on how a lot of these interviews go, I think we're going to be able to almost have kind of surprise ending on this with a super clear, powerful gospel presentation. Yeah. That I think will be very effective. And so, you know, it's, it's one of those things I'm hoping, uh, you know, because of, you know, you've got such a wide variety of people that you've interviewed from all different kinds of backgrounds and, you know, you know, Jewish, you know, Muslim, Christian, you got all these different groups and not just fundamental Baptists. I mean, you got, you know, different Christian groups that represent a lot of people. So it's going to get the interest. And I'm telling you, I think, you know, everybody's interest is going to be held through this whole thing. And then when it gets to the end and uh, what I think we're going to be able to show through this is just going to be a very memorable and a very powerful, very clear presentation of the gospel in a way that you've probably never seen it given before. Yeah. And yeah. so uh, I and, think it has the potential to reach a lot of people. And I think that really came clear when we interviewed you in Salt Lake City uh, a few weeks ago. Um, when you were when we did your interview, it really just the movie came more clear from that interview. And you said some really powerful lines that I think is is really going to um, inspire people. And uh, it, it, I, I agree. I think it's going to be an awesome film. So um, if you guys want to support that film, uh, we, we're still trying to raise money. What we're doing right now is just kind of putting all the money that comes in aside for that trip. Um, that's going to happen, I don't know, whenever the borders open up. So, uh, yeah, if you can donate, please do. And it will just be put in a little uh, savings account for when we do the trip. Uh, but um, I, I just really appreciate um, everyone's support out there. I appreciate all these donors that have sacrificed their, their money to make these shows possible. I want to do a lot of shows like this. Um, you know, while we wait for the border to open up, I want to have... Uh, a bunch of people on to talk about